Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Krabi in southern Thailand and I love it here. It's so laid back. People are friendly, food is delicious, and actually this is where my wife Ying is originally from. Today we're gonna go to a restaurant. It's called Nang Jok um, and the owner, Pi Jok, he's a good friend of ours. He actually went to school with my wife Ying. So every time we're back in Krabi, this is one of our favorite restaurants. They specialize in southern Thai food and especially ultra fresh seafood. There's one dish in particular, the fried king mackerel, which I just dream about every time I come to Krabi. So today, we're gonna hopefully see the seafood delivery as it comes. Uh, we're gonna see some of the cooking, and then we're gonna eat a full seafood meal at Nong Jok and just hang out with my friend Pete Jok. Uh, but this is an awesome restaurant, and I can't wait to share all of the food with you in this video. We just arrived to the restaurant to Nong Jok and I love this area of Krabi Town because it is a local fisherman community. There's shipyards, commercial shipyards, there's small time fishermen and just arrived to the restaurant. This is the time when some of the seafood is going to be delivered to the restaurant, especially a huge uh, blind sea which is king mackerel which is the fish that I am waiting for uh, every time I come here. It's the first thing we order without even thinking about it. Seafood directly from the port, which is right here from the fishing community, arrives by motorbike sidecar. Uh, the ice chest, these, that's the fresh catch from last night or from this morning. Oh man, it's so fresh. He pulls out the king mackerel, there's barracuda, there's uh, pompano, there are some other, they call it blah by Kanun, which is a jackfruit leaf fish. Um, everything is so fresh. The vibrancy, the colors, the shiny brightness, those gills. But the main ticket, the main fish that I am the most interested in is the Blan Si, which is the king mackerel. At Nang Jok, they serve one of, it's my favorite version of king mackerel fried with they just have the perfect recipe. That is my favorite dish to order here. Uh, so being able to see the fish before we eat it is awesome. And also supporting the community. And so it is straight up fisherman to table at Nong Jok. Additionally, when you buy the fish, they trim it all up for you. They take out some of the innards. They even the for the king mackerel, he slices it into the steak pieces uh, to then be able to prepare it. So that's nice. Also, they trim it up for you right here before you buy it. They weigh it on spot. It really is an entire fish market on wheels on motorbike that just comes to you. And in Krabi, you can just be guaranteed ultra freshness. That is ultra fresh fish. Let's see the shrimp. Mm. Oh, and then also we're buying some fresh tiger shrimp. They said they're from the deep, deep blue sea, uh, and they're kind of rare. They're not. They're not an everyday because they're so deep. Good job, Micah. An awesome way to begin an awesome seafood delivery. Just seeing that fresh fish makes me hungry. Um, and then this is the front of the restaurant. But just to quickly tell you, the restaurant is called Nong Jok. Uh, Nong is like somebody who's younger than you or a child. Um, and I believe either his grandmother or his parents started the restaurant. Um, and they named it after him uh, when he was still very young. Okay, let's go inside. We're gonna see some of the cooking and then, oh, I can't wait to eat, especially that king mackerel. But yeah, literally everything here is delicious. แกงต้มปูมาใส่อะไรนะครับใส่ยำมะพร้าวยำมะพร้าวกับออดิบเนอะหรือว่าหรือว่าออดิบเอาไหม
Audi Mayo now. We're just thinking about our order, our well-rounded order, but there's so many things on the menu. Southern Thai food and a huge variety of seafood to choose from. Always awesome to hang out with Hijok. Every time we come to Krabi, we gotta eat here. The best restaurant. And now we're going back into the kitchen to start cooking. Wow, and, she, and it's an honor to meet Hijok's mother, who is still in the kitchen. I think she's 84 years old and still in the kitchen. Wow. Okay, we're gonna start cooking. So first dish she's making is the plan si pod si yu, which is the deep fried king mackerel in soy sauce. And I've had it many different restaurants. This is my standard. This is the best of anywhere that I've tried. I love it. I cannot get enough of it. I dream about it. And every time I come to Krabi, I come to Nangjok to eat it. And so she quickly just soaked those pieces in salt water and they go into the, the hot oil. Wow. Yes. Okay, okay. And there it is, that is finished. That is the fried king mackerel. And I think that's why it's so good, is it's so simple. Just ultra fresh fish, fried, a simple sauce of a little bit of oil, soy sauce, just simmered until it glazes. Just bring it to a boil until it almost glazes and then directly on top of the fish, it just sizzles. Oh, that smells incredible. But fresh fish, that is the key. Next up for the tiger shrimp. Uh, she's just deveining them, slicing off the, the whiskers and preparing them. Those are gonna deep fry as well. She has a flour mixture, I think it's just flour and salt. Uh, just gives them a little dusty coating of flour and then directly into the oil. Well, those are gonna crispify and guaranteed she's gonna cook them perfectly so that they're not overcooked, so that they're so juicy and I can already imagine that muscular texture. Those are beautiful, like blooming, like fully blooming flowers. She takes, them, she takes them out at the precise time. And now, uh, literally, she's chopping up an entire cutting board, chopping board of garlic. That must be like two full heads of garlic, which they're gonna then quickly stir fry with the fried shrimp. of those prawns, that recipe is incredible. That amount of garlic and the fresh tiger shrimp, but it, they're so, they turn so red, they almost look like they have a, a red glaze on them. And that's not because of chili, that's not because of tomato sauce, that's because of the mangung. It's the head oil butter that came out of the prawns, that came out of the shrimp as she stir fried them, giving them an entire glaze in their own head butter liver juices. That is just a platter. It smells so good. And we're moving over to the other side of the kitchen now to make the gang som. Uh, sour curry, southern tire sour curry with turmeric with uh, fresh blue swimmer crabs. Yes, the joke ordered it for us with blue swimmer crabs. Buma bin bu bu thale. Bu thale. Majak. Okay, okay. It's cool the way they make the gang som here, which is they have a whole huge pot of it prepared in the morning, uh, which is kind of like a master stock. And from there they can dish out the, and made with fish. So it's a fish based broth with all of that curry paste, with all of that turmeric. Um, and then from there you can choose your choice of protein that goes inside. So we're getting with crab. So she scoops out some of that curry and now just trimming up that crab to go in. And 
she just like so carefully made that taking care, babying that crab so that it's not too, so it's not overcooked, so it's perfectly cooked with the coconut shoots and then into the bowl with the crab heads on top for display. That's beautiful. That is, oh, that smells, that is aromatic. because they have fresh today uh, hoi krang, which are blood cockles, but these are huge and they're from right here, just in the mangrove swamps off the coast right here in Klebi. Uh Fresh, ultra fresh, ultra huge, and those are just gonna get a quick boil. And then just pop those open. Those are huge, that orange flesh on the inside. Yeah, we're rushing upstairs to come eat and there's two main dining room areas, the downstairs that you can see from the road and then the full upstairs in the back, which I think is really nice and quiet up here. It's breezy, uh, so we're choosing to sit upstairs, the upstairs section. That's just how popular Nong Jok is. He's uh, expanded the restaurant. It's awesome to see how he's made improvements uh, to the restaurant over the years as we've been coming here, as we've known P. Jok. The dish that we have to begin with is the dish that I've just been talking about this entire time that I dream about coming to Krabi just to eat, which is the king mackerel, deep fried with soy sauce. Moving in, that sauce, just the simplicity. I'm gonna rehydrate a little bit just to get those juices flowing. Maybe swish it around a little bit in that juice, that juice, that sauce is the actual key, is just so good. All right, there we go and you have to eat this with rice. It's just, it's made for rice. All right, let's go. Oh, even that texture is just perfect. You can feel it's perfectly cooked. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. It is still the best of the best. It's just the simplicity of the recipe and of course the freshness, ultra fresh fish. That texture, the crispiness on the edges, and just that salty umami of that fish when it's fresh, when it's just done simple like this, is the best. And a little bit more of that soy sauce glaze. Oh, that's so good. It's so simple, so perfect. I love it. Wow. It's just comfort. Next dish, this one is Nampik Mengda, which is a water bug chili dip with pounded fish with chilies. Uh, you can see the spices, you can smell the aromatics in there. And then served with a huge assortment of vegetables. Everything from cucumbers and pumpkin and long beans to in Thai it's called salai angun, which are grape seaweed um, and also some herbs and leaves. All right, and take a, take a cucumber first, get a little bit of that. I like how it's dry, just with all of that pounded fish. Flavor is condensed. Oh yeah, and if you take a whiff of that, you can smell the giant water bug. It has an anise or a licorice flavor to it. Oh, oh my God. Oh, yeah. The fish, all the chili in there, the, the water bug just provides an essence. And the garlic, oh, I love it. Wow. That is a next level fish dip. Yeah, that is so good. And then with some of the some of the seaweed. It's kind of like the most flavorful tuna salad that you've ever had. Okay, next moving on to the hoi krang, the blood cockles. These are 
probably the biggest blood cockles I've ever seen. I'm just sprouting that orange color on the inside. They are beautiful. I'm gonna try to take off one shell and then maybe put seafood. Yeah, you need to eat this with seafood sauce. That garlic chili. That is huge. And that's exactly why they're called blood cockles. That juice that comes out of it is kind of dark, murky, red, orange in color. And the seafood sauce? I love it at Nong Jong Khao. It's so chunky with so much garlic, so many chilies in it. Um, and I'll just apply. A huge one biter blood cockle. <laughs> wow. The texture of that, it's so juicy. It's a little bit elastic -y. You can taste the ultra freshness because it doesn't have any kind of a, actually barely even a, a seafoody kind of flavor. It's so neutral in taste. It's a textural dream. And then with that power of acidity, with the garlic, the raw garlic, the chilies in that seafood sauce, they're just so big and neutral tasting that they almost, like sometimes blood cockles have a kind of a murky taste to them, almost a muddy taste to them. These are so neutral, so clean tasting. You can almost think it's a chicken, like a little bit of a, a rubbery elastic chicken. Oh, that's delicious. That is awesome. And then moving over to the gangsom, the crab curry. And I love how it's displayed with the shells on top. You can kind of pick this up to reveal the insides. Take off the shell. There is the stock, which is full of turmeric, which is full of chilies, uh, and then also, we got it with yot ma prao, which are coconut shoots. And you can see some of the crab has even come out, so it's you know, there's little strands of crab throughout the curry now, too. Mm. All that balance, that well-rounded flavor. It's sweet, it's sour, it's spicy. In Krabi, the taste of the gangsom is usually a little bit on the, the sweeter side, as compared to some other parts of southern Thailand. But it really is a balance. It's a harmony, it's still, it's very spicy, and then it just like, that sweetness, that sourness, it just blends together so well. Okay, now let's dig in for a, for a crab drumstick. There we go. And these are uh, fresh local blue swimmer crabs, sea crabs. The crab, the sweetness, and then the crab is a sponge, just absorbed all of that curry. Mm. And then you can chase that with coconut shoots with more curry. Okay, another dish I can't wait. Let's move on to the shrimp. And again, this is one of the most spectacular half moon, just display platters of shrimp that I've ever seen. I love that display. All of them just lined up. Some of them are huge. And I'm gonna take this one right in the center here because it has the most goodies on top. But look at the size of this and that glaze that it's created. Let's peel, peel off some of this shell. And I think you can actually eat some of that shell too because it's, it's pretty crispy. It's fried uh, with a little bit of flour so that you can chew through it, I think. Uh, but I'll probably peel off most of it. Look at that meat. If you pull off the head, Probably the juices will run and you'll see some of the red, red oil tamale come out of it. Here we go. The meaty, muscular texture of that is incredible. And they said it's from really deep sea. The freshness, the that texture. And then again, the balance of flavor, the garlic, the crispy glaze, its own juices, and just kind of layers of different salty flavor going on in there. Mm. I do a little dip for my next bite, a little more garlic on there, and then chase with some of the, the garlic from the dish. So awesomely good. You'll lick your fingers. And chase that with some of the goodies from the bottom of the plate. Next up is the yam salai puang angun. Um, and this is a salad, and so there's a dressing, there's peanuts, there's cashews in there. There are shrimp, there's squid in that dressing, and then with egg. And so what you kind of do, 
and you take this salad dressing, chunky seafood salad dressing, and put it all over. All right. And then you can eat it with egg, you can eat it with the shrimp, just the seaweed on its own. I love the seaweed, it's so, it's so good. The crunch and the pop of that seaweed. Oh, I love it. The dressing is acidic, you taste the lime juice, the mix of sweetness, the balance of sweetness, a little bit spicy, a little bit nutty, and then just that amazing seawater saltiness coming from the seaweed. And seaweed is a super food. Not only is it a super flavor, but the nutrients, the, the minerals in it. And I think the final dish that we got today is, uh, these are squid with eggs, little squid with eggs. And it's kind of a, it's kind of a sweet glaze. So I don't think I've ever had this exactly prepared this way, but these are beautiful little squid. You can tell they're just full of eggs. That could definitely pass as a one biter squid, but I think we'll put it on the plate here so we can open it up and see what's inside, see those eggs. It's almost like a little natural sausage. Oh, oh and that pop, that texture. Oh, there you go. Oh yeah, now that you open it, you can see the squid eggs. Those are the squid eggs and they're, the, they're almost transparent. It almost looks like a stuffed crust pizza, except squid. All right. Mm. Oh wow. That is a sweet glaze, but it just works. And that texture, that contrast of texture and the freshness of that squid, the outside of the squid, it almost has a snappy texture, like you bite down and it snaps in your mouth. Then the inside, those eggs, oh, I've never had squid eggs like that before. It's so creamy, soft and silky, and kind of gooey. Mm. That must be the way they cooked it, and also that variety, that type of squid, that small squid. They're just like plump and, oh man, just soft, soft full of eggs. That just tastes like a braising sauce, a sweet braised sauce, oh, with that onion, the natural sweetness of that. Oh, wow. And not forgetting the roasted sink beans. This is one of my favorite ways to eat stink beans, just roasted in the shell, in the pod. Um, you can just pop them out, you can eat them like vitamins, you can eat them with the namprik, you can eat them, you can chase them, and you can eat that skin, kind of the fruity, kind of like sticky skin. Yeah. When you roast stink beans like that, it even brings out the flavor even more. And the flavor just keeps on coming as you keep on chewing. I love them. And they also go perfectly with the uh, giant water bug chili dip. Oh, I just keep coming back for this. The fried mackerel. To me, it doesn't get better than this. That simplicity, that freshness, just the way they make it here is the best. and the flakiness, the texture, the firmness of that king mackerel. Absolutely nothing cleanses the palate like cashew tree leaves. That chalky, just acidic, sour, astringent, that's what it is there, astringent. chilies and garlic you can balance on a single bite, on a single blood cockle, the better. I'm drooling a little bit. That is just so, as good, the top of the top, as good as it gets for blood cockles. The neutral freshness, spongy, slightly elasticy, the juices that come out when you chew down, and just that like clean flavor. Yeah, uh, that, that's the best blood cockles I've ever had. Wow. And then to the mouth.
right, so now is at the peak of lunch. Oh man, they are busy. That is awesome. But this really is a, a very local, it's a favorite local, especially family restaurant. And you can see because they have big tables, big open veranda, breezy, good weather, open air. It's a perfect Southern Thai family restaurant in Krabi. And again, the consistency, the freshness, that's what stands out to me. I love Pijok and his wife. They're so nice how his parents started the restaurant, named it after him. And so he's carrying on the legacy and now he's the one in charge of the restaurant. Um, even though his parents started it when he was one years old, which is awesome too. This is a feast, so much food. So we're gonna sit here for a while and slowly eat, slowly finish this meal. So yeah, we're gonna be here for a while. But oh, again, highly recommended when you come to Krabi. And you can, you can order anything on the menu, but do not miss the king mackerel. So I'm gonna wrap up this video right here and I wanna say a big thank you to you for watching. Uh, please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe and also click the little bell icon and that way you'll immediately get notified of the next video that I publish. And again, huge thank you to Pete Joke and his wife for hosting us, for having us here today for lunch. And I'll see you on the next video.